Welcome back to another video of RW Outdoors. Today I got this recent Facebook Marketplace find. Now this is a, I believe a 1987 Mercury 99 two stroke that we bought for $200. And it started and run kind of rough. And we came to the conclusion that both coils are good, but it would not get spark on one cylinder. So only one of two cylinders are firing. So I came to a conclusion that we decided to buy an aftermarket power pack or CDI box. And we're gonna go ahead and replace that today. I'm going to start removing the two wires from the CDI box that go to the coil. This is just a 3 8 I'm going to put the nuts back on so I don't lose them. Gummed up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the three screws that hold the CDI box on. Now my motor only has two because one decided to lose itself. So you can either use a regular screwdriver or a Phillips. When you start tearing apart stuff like that, I usually like to take some pictures so that way you know where the wires go back together. And for instance here, the green and yellow strip wire goes to the left coil and then the green and white strip wire goes to the right coil. And now I'm gonna start unplugging some of these wires here. Now, like I said earlier, we take some pictures so that way you remember where they go and then they just pull apart. Now these power packs make it really easy because they're all color coded and all you have to do is plug the wires in back in from the new box and you're ready to go. There's one last screw you have to take out that is the ground. Now your old box should be able to come out. And there it is. Now my new part here is just an eBay special. It's an aftermarket that was about $30 with free shipping. Now it's completely up to you what if you want to pay the full price for OEM or just one of these aftermarket ones and I've had good luck with them in the past so I'll give it another shot. Now you can see here they look very similar and we'll start plugging stuff back together and see what happens. Start by hooking the ground up which is the black wire with a little loop. Brown and yellow wire plugged in. And then our white and brown this one well I got my wires all plugged in now I'm gonna put the bottom screw in that has the two ground eyelets so next I'm gonna start snapping all the wires in the little clips starting with the longest one and working our way down I got those wires snapped down. Now I will attach the wires for the coils. Now the yellow striped one goes to the left and then the green and white go to the right. Now I got the two bolts off. I'm just gonna go around with this little wire brush and make sure that the contacts are clean. Well, there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and spark test both cylinders, see if we got spark back. Got my handy dandy little spark tester here. Good spark. All right, well, that cylinder there has good spark. Now I'll test the bottom. Well, there you go. We got good spark on both cylinders. Now I think we'll go ahead and put it in a barrel, see what happens. Well, I got some gas hooked to it. We'll see if it runs. I notice it's not pumping very good water, any at all. So this next video is doing a water pump install on that. I was really happy with how it fired up. That was the first pull, and it's idling really good. Well, 
Well, I'm pretty impressed with that little CDI box swap there. And so far, I only have 230 into this motor and a few extra dollars won't hurt. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.